Hey guys, how you doing? So the whole point of this video is to talk about the joinery of this entrance table. Pretty easy. You know, if you're just getting into woodworking, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Highly functional look at these sandals. Beforehand, taking up half the entrance with. And now just one little spot right here. Pretty cool. The key's up there. Losing them all the time? Not anymore. They're always there. I can always get to work on time if I want to. So stick around. See how I do it. So I've already glued up all the boards to make the top and the shelves. They are planed and smooth. This step is putting the four notches I need in the two shelves to accept the legs. I cut to the outer lines of my notches on the table saw, cut out the waist with a fret saw, and finish cleaning up with a chisel. Here you can see I'm marking the through tenon for the top. After I've marked it, I'll use the thickness of the shelves and get three equal distances. After they are marked, I'd take it over to the table saw and cut out the notches. Preferably I would have used a dado blade for the notches here and in the shelves themselves, but I was a little too lazy to change the blade so I just decided to do it this way. After the initial notch is made, I use a chisel and router plane to finish off all the leg joiner and marry it to the shelf notches. I continue to eat away on both sides of the leg until it gets a nice snug fit onto the shelf notch. I want it to where I don't have to press it real hard, but at the same time it won't fall out if I hold it upside down.
Here I've marked out my bevels using a marking gauge, and I'm simply just going to use a plane to bring them down to where I want them. Once I had all the leg joinery done, I'm just going to decorate them up a little bit more and add some tapers to the inside of the table legs. The bands The bandsaw leaves a little bit of a rough surface, so I'm just using a smoothing plane to clean that up. And here's time for the first full dry assembly. Once the whole bottom assembly is together, I place it over the top, center it up, and mark out where my tenons are. I take the trace lines for the tenons and I move them in about an eighth of an inch on all four sides to account for the cheeks. I find that I really like... I find that I really like cutting mortises by hand. They're really quick with mortise and chisels, and you can't mess it up as fast as you can with the router, and it's not nearly as loud. Once I have the mortise halfway through the top, I take my brace and bit and go straight vertical through the tenon. You'll have to flip it over and come from the show face in order to keep from breaking out the fibers. 
Once I have the hole drilled in there, I'll take a flush bit in my router and then I'll have the bearing run along the inside of the mortise and it'll clean up all four sides. You'll need to use your chisel to actually square up the corners so. though. The legs are then taken back to the bandsaw where the tenon cheeks are cut. I typically leave about a 30 second of an inch left to the baseline and use the chisel to square all the way around. I then slowly take off a little bit of meat on both sides of the tenon until it gets a nice press fit into the mortise. I personally like to fit it from the show side, which I find gives me the best results. And here's one of the funnest parts of the whole project and that's planing all your parts smooth and getting rid of any of the mill marks and marking lines. Right before glue up, we want to cut kerfs into those tenons and then you want to take a small drill bit and drill at the bottom of that kerf and that'll help keep you from splitting the wood whenever you drive the wedges into it. And here's the final step before finishing, which is gluing up the entire assembly. Here I show assembly of the tabletop with the wedges. I am no, prof I am no professional photographer, but here's a few shots of the table. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment below. Thanks.